Good morning, all, and welcome to this week's edition of Upfront in Germantown. What's going on at the village and in town? The month of May really has a lot to celebrate in its 31 days. Today, we celebrate National Chocolate Custard Day for all of you with a sweet tooth. Tuesday is National Orange Juice Day. Wednesday is Cinco de Mayo, and a big celebration will be held here on Wednesday. And the most important day of this week, more so this year than ever, is National Nurses Day on May the 6th. Still good news at the village. No new cases of COVID-19 this week here, although I understand that cases have increased somewhat in the area. We really need to keep our guard up, friends, so that we all stay safe. This is a treacherous disease, and in order to stay healthy, we all need to be careful. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands with soap and water often. Use hand sanitizers in between hand washings. And keep six feet between each other. Easy rules to follow to stay safe and well. I heard again earlier this morning that non-medical volunteers are still needed for all shifts at the Germantown vaccination site, the Germantown Baptist Church. Volunteers are needed for all shifts during the day. If you have any interest, you'll might, you might find the link posted on the bulletin board in the activity room. Don't forget that GPAC is going to have all sorts of art camps in session this summer. Check out their website to see what's available for your children or your grandchildren. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to have a great speaker as the second in the Village Visiting Speaker Series on May the 6th. Jeff Calkins, human interest and sports writer extraordinaire, will be with us that evening in the auditorium at 7.15 p.m. Make it a point to be there for a delightful evening. Thursdays in May, we'll once again see Bluebird Happy Hour in the Grove at GPAC. This Thursday, come and enjoy Susan Marshall, a Germantown favorite, and admission is free. Open meetings will soon be coming back to Germantown. The Economic Development Commission, which I chair, will meet face-to-face -face this Thursday for the first time in more than 15 months. Things are slowly coming back. The village garden is ready for planting, so all of you erstwhile gardeners are urged to go out and get your hands dirty. The water is on and it's waiting for you to plant. I got my crop planted on Saturday. For several reasons, the Germantown Planning Commission has delayed the Germantown Community Club, the Germantown Country Club project. I hope that those concerns are shown by the commission will soon be resolved so that the project can get underway. Beginning now, the village is making available its free senior fitness evaluation. You need to sign up in the mailroom, and the deadline is May the 7th. If you have any questions at all, check with Cassandra. Two dates to remember, May the 3rd today and May the 17th. A village favorite returns. Bingo is back. First game tonight here in the auditorium. On May the 7th, Julie Parati curator of the Dixon Gallery and Gardens will be presenting a program titled American Impressionism, Echoes of a Revolution at one o'clock here in the auditorium. For those of you who love things Mexican, <clears throat> pardon me, the Cinco de Mayo celebration is Wednesday at two o'clock with seating in the auditorium and the Monarch featuring tacos, and live mariachi music with Los Cantadores for all to enjoy. 
If you have questions about the Village Charitable Trust, contact Ken Plunk or Dan Norton, who can answer all your questions. And if you want to know about the Village Veterans Memorial, be sure and check with Dave Olinger or John Krosnus, who too can answer all your questions. Be sure and mask up when you go out, wash your hands with soap and water often, and use hand sanitizers between those hand washings. And be sure and keep six feet between each other. Easy rules to follow. Well, thanks for your time, folks. That's it, that's it, is it, that is it, it for today. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Same time, same place, and hope you have a super